the J6 Treason Corner is absolutely terrified of DC residents protesting them. If you're not following the DC Rats Twitter account, I highly recommend it and I will have it in the pinned comments. You might recognize them from this protest here and if not, you can watch some of the clips where they outnumber the J6 group. Now, what is the response from the Treason Corner? Well, we have Stormtrooper on Getter saying people need to come to this Twitter page and attack it because they're trying to get rid of Mama Mickey and uh, these people want democracy. Yeah. Uh, but we also have Sherry who went on Twitter spaces wanting people to flood the page. I guess she had some flashbacks to what they did to the veterans, you know, hotline the other time. But uh, we know flooding the line never works for them. Now, I want to point out that a lot of their complaints, I've noticed recently even more, it's about Mickey, 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 Mickey. She's kind of taking on, dare I say it, a cult leader role in this group. Now, let me give you an example that I saw today. Steve went from saying he doesn't stop to call people demons and then screaming that I'm a demon in less than one minute. Mickey walks up and yet another attempt to intimidate me. She did it again in court today. But what I noticed and I've noticed happening recently in some of the clips of this group, they become a lot more radicalized the moment Mickey shows up. It's like they're trying to put on a show for her, make her happy with them. Let's listen. See if you see what I see. You know, you, you called me a demon the other day. Really? Yeah. I don't think so. No, you don't. We all do. I don't usually call people that. I don't go that low. Yeah, you did. And I can't I can show it to you on tape. I, I, I can say something like, you have darkness in your demonic No, you, you called me a straight up demon and you cursed at me. That's your issue, not mine. What? God help you, God help you. God help me? It looks no, like you're the one who needs help, Steve. Dude, God you're on a corner you. screaming at people with a don't tread on me half American flag. Don't tread on me, sister. Don't tread on Nobody's trying to tread on you. You have less than most people. You should actually be for uh, leftist policies. You're the one who needs the help. I bet you get social security, don't you? I bet you get social security. You know that's a socialist program, right? Notice how it's picking up. I'm not falsely accusing you of anything. He looks over. not touch me or come near me. That's all you do. Sickening. I can't You're hear you. Sickening. See you later. You're sickening. Bye, Mickey. I'm You're trying not to get sickening. too intoxicated You're before court. You're sickening. And yeah, since you brought it up, you are full of demons. <laughs> You're yeah, there you psycho. Go. To that demon lab. Good. So. I had to show this clip. I was debating whether I even wanted to put it in this video because I wanted to focus on the DC rats. But this is something that I've noticed. You can watch his demeanor get more extreme in proximity to Mickey. And we've seen this before with other groups where when their leader is around, they become more fervent and freaking out. And it kind of makes me wonder when they have like that eagle's nest and things like that where they're all staying together. I thought maybe, you know, just easier to put everyone in one place. But I kind of wonder if they're afraid that if they separate out, there's a little distance that the group will fall apart because... We've seen that, too, with other groups, that as soon as people aren't living with the leader, they suddenly move on. And some of them move to another group with a new leader they can live with. Just, just a little interesting thing how you could tell. You can watch him. And as Mickey approaches, the voice gets louder, gets angrier, more belligerent. It was almost an actual conversation being had until she got near. <laughs> 